Andromeda in the Greek myth was the maiden who was saved by Perseus from a sea monster. This star just above me is Beta Andromedae, the second brightest star in the constellation, 75 light years from the Earth. The light by which we see this star has spent 75 years traversing into stellar space on its journey to the Earth. In the unlikely event that Beta Andromedae blew itself up a week ago Tuesday, we will not know of it for another 75 years, as this interesting information, traveling at the speed of light, crosses the enormous interstellar distances. When the light we see from this star set out on its long interstellar voyage, the young Albert Einstein, working as a Swiss patent firm, had just published his epical special theory of relativity here on Earth. We see that space and time are intertwined. We cannot look out into space without looking into time. The speed of light is very fast, but space is very empty, and the stars are very far apart. In fact, the distances that we've been talking about up to now are very small by the usual astronomical standards. In fact, the distance from the Earth to the center of the Milky Way galaxy is 30,000 light years. From our galaxy to the nearest spiral galaxy like our own, called M31, and which is also within, that means behind, the constellation Andromeda, is two million light years. When the light we see today from M31 left on its journey for Earth, there were no human beings on the Earth, although our ancestors were nicely evolving and very rapidly to our present form. There are much greater distances in astronomy. The distance from the Earth to the most distant quasars is eight or 10 billion light years. We see them as they were before the Earth itself accumulated, before the Milky Way galaxy was formed. 